So competitive programming is you are given a bunch of problems and you have to write an algorithm that will solve the problem given the input and the output. When you're given these problems, you have to solve as many as you can and you win if you solve the most problems. So it's not like basketball. You can't change your strategy depending on the team you're against. So it's a little bit different than some other competitive sports. The biggest problem for us as UCF teams is always being the best UCF team. It's much easier to be in the top 19 in North America than it is to be the best team at UCF. <laughs> and that's the main reason why I think UCF as a school is so good, because we just have such a breadth of good students. For the past few months, we've been practicing as if it'd be five hours, one person, no internet access, and the contest has changed the rule set on us. Instead of having five hours and one computer, we have three and a half hours three computers, ability to Google, and everything like that. They've been an amazingly flexible team that have handled a lot of different scenarios in the last year. There's been changes to formats and, and everything, and they've handled it really very well. Danny and Seba, they're just really good. <laughs> they're really good problem solvers. They're really fast, they're really accurate. They're some of the best coders, I think, like on the UCF programming team. Sharon's got like a, I don't know, there's like a, a certain like contest experience that he's got, like reassuring when we're a little bit more like uh, in like the, the midst of like some problems of like what we need to work on, what we need to do, right? Like what, how we should allocate ourselves and our time and the keyboard time is really nice. <laughs> Towards the end of the contest, we knew we needed at least six problems in order to advance or even have a chance of advancing. We ended up getting that six problem first try, and so that placed us somewhere in the pack, and we had no idea what the scoreboard was gonna look like and what other teams kind of were doing. But recognizing that we, we like hadn't yet secured a spot was just terrifying. <laughs> in a contest where you have to use your mind to actually solve the problems, you can't occupy your mind with stress or other distractors because you need to have complete focus on like hard questions that you need to solve. Glenn is the backbone of the team. <laughs> yes, I mean, supportive is just uh, whatever the most uh, superlative <laughs> form of supportive Whatever that word is, that would be Glenn. What's your favorite team? <laughs> <laughs> or, or yeah, like, how, how would you compare us to, to some of the other teams you've coached? That's a very interesting question. Um, you know, I've, I have coached, you know, a wide variety of teams over the years. You know, I definitely think you're up there, and I really think you're you know, you're on the cusp. If, if not there already, you're going to be the best team, honestly. Yeah, so I think when it comes to World Finals, ultimately, we will, you know, we'll prepare, we'll be ready. I guess that's like number one for me. Like, I, I want to I do good and maintain that UCF legacy.